All right, guys, we are going to talk about Heretic Knives today. This is the Colossus. Um, yeah, right off the bat, I hate this part about it. That should have just been left off. Off. Gone. Just black. It's totally fine. We got a card here that tells us about them and who they are. Whoops. Who they are and all of that good stuff. If we bought it, we'd have the box that tells us exactly what it is. It does come with a um, OTF lube sample. Okay, cool. Um, kind of a cool package. Got a cutout for the knife and the, the lube stuff. And it's got Velcro closure, which is unusual. Don't see that very often. Um, but we're going to mainly talk about this one. But I do have this Microtech. Ultratech, um, whatever the heck it is, hold on. It's the Combat Trudon SE with Magna Cut and Ultum. Yeah, okay. I've done a video on this before, a different blade, but the same knife. So I'm not going to go into all the details. However, it's kind of pertinent because you got father and son, okay? Microtech. Anthony Marfione, um, Heretic is Anthony, Anthony Marfione Jr. that goes by TJ, I guess. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of similarities and some differences. So we're going to touch on some of those. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this one first. This comes to me from a uh, viewer that I will be shipping off to him. It came from somebody else like it's not brand brand new it's in great shape but you can see it's been carried okay it's a little worn but not in a bad way and you can tell on the deployment slash fire button there's a little bit of wear there from the pocket um, and just activations okay no big deal Buy used knives. By the time I get a knife, it's going to be used after I get it anyway. So I buy you used knives. This is not mine. It's going to a buddy. So that's fine, right? Okay. So let's dive right in the specs first off. Five and one eighths closed, eight and a half overall with a 3.4 inch blade. Okay. This is Magna Cut. This one belongs to the same person and it is also Magna Cut. Two-tone blade here, all DLC um, coated there. This one weighs in at 4.7 ounces with an overall thickness of 0.494. This one is probably a little bit lighter, it, it feels like. This one was brand new. So you do have a glass breaker on the Heretic. It's just small and kind of obtruse there, kind of concealed, if you will. However, on the Microtech... Yeah, there ain't no mistake in that one. That's out there. Um, which is okay. It's fine. And how you change the pocket clip on this is you would remove this, flip it over, and put it back on, you know, and whatnot, right? So, yeah. You can reverse the pocket clip on that guy. And you can reverse the pocket clip on this guy by taking these two screws out, flipping it around. Because it is an automatic OTF, it's completely ambidextrous. You just flip that pocket clip and it's going in your pocket and it's going to function either for your right-handed guys or your left-handed guys. No problem. OTFs, not my favorite. I own a couple now that I've been given over the years and, and whatnot. I don't carry them often. Not just because I live in California because... You know, I'm not a drug dealer, so I don't have contact with the police all the time. So I carry what I want to carry. But I just don't find them very fidgety. I mean, a little bit. They are fun. The, the deployment on this one is really strong. It's not like a thumb breaker. You know how sometimes you get a flipper tab that's like finger breaker? It's not quite that bad, but it's pretty stiff. Microtech... Probably similar, probably similar in pole strength, spring strength, if you will. Um, 
But over a lot of periods of time of the in and out, in and out, it's just uncomfortable. It's also uncomfortable with this particular one because this part digs right into my palm of my hand right there as I'm grabbing it to deploy it. So this one is uncomfortable in my hand. That's going to be dependent on your hand. This one is not as uncomfortable because it's different size. So it hits my palm in a different place. All in all, it's very textured inside of these cutouts here. So this has got a lot of grip, way more so than the milling on here. This one, eh, I mean, it's not gonna slip out of your hand, but this one ain't never going out of your hand. This one, it's, it's almost like um, grip tape from a skateboard. I'm, I'm aging myself now. You guys know what skateboards are, right? Are those still a thing? I don't know, but this feels like grip tape of a skateboard. I love the two-tone blade. It is magnet cut, crazy sharp. All in all, I think it's a really cool knife. I think it has a lot of uses, and I really hate the wording plastered there. Did it have to be white? Maybe they could have done it in like gray? or dark blue so it doesn't really show up like i yeah it really bothers me but that's okay that's a personal thing overall though i think it's a very cool knife um i want to say i'm not into otfs but i own a couple now so i kind of guess i am same with fixed blades for a guy who's not into fixed blades i got like 13 or 14 of them now over the years i just like knives doesn't really matter what they are exactly. I just like knives. So let me give you a couple of quick, quick size comparisons. We'll just bring this guy out also. Um, and we've got a Sharpie. We've got a Spider Codelica. We've got the D cell and double A batteries. Okay. How's that for some quickness? All right, guys, let me know. What do you think about OTFs? I do like the fact that you can just pick these up. And I, I like to kind of just retract it with my index finger. I know that's kind of weird. But um, yeah, depending on how I'm picking it up, normally I am not. Outside of this setting right here, filming videos, I never set a knife down with the blade out. Whether it's automatic, folder, Side automatic, it doesn't matter. I never set a blade down with the blade exposed. Learned that way, way, way back when I was doing audio, pro audio stuff, way back. Guy was teaching me there, I had put a razor knife, like a, a box cutter down and it was open. Set it down because I was gonna do something and grab it again to cut some stuff. He goes, never, never, kind of jumped on my, jumped on my stuff. And so I learned from that day, I never, ever put a knife down. If I'm cutting open a box, I'm going to close it. I'm going to reposition. I'm going to open it again, and then I'm going to cut. So outside of this, that never happens. So to say that I would pick up a knife and, and like this and close it with my finger, that just wouldn't happen in real world. So anyway, I've rambled on about that for way too long. Nobody cared. Everybody already signed off, which is fine. If you didn't sign off, just say hi in the comments. Whatever. I couldn't come up with a better word. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. <laughs>